Hello everyone, this is AJ and welcome to Python Digital Signal Processing Tutorial. So in my previous video, I have shown you how to create sine wave, cosine waves and plot them. So in this video, I will be showing you how to read audio files and make plots uh, of that audio file and make some analyzing uh, analysis using that wave files. So let's begin. Uh, let me start Jupiter. <coughs> so let's create a new notebook. Uh, Python two. And name it as read audio. So what are we? Okay. Already access. Now let's start uh, import think DSP next import think plot next uh, since I'll be reading a sound file of bird so I have named that sound file as an bird and the extension of the file is dot wave so let me read the file bird equal to think dsp dot read with so this method will read only files with dot wave extension so uh, don't try to import uh, files of mp3 extension and others so uh, this will only read wave file so be careful of that uh, so my file name was bird dot wave next now we are going to plot this sound file bar dot plot and next we will show so wave file so here it is so now if you want to make the spectrum of this sound file that is what are the different frequencies and which frequencies are affecting it so we can create the spectrum file uh, using this code let me show you uh, before showing that uh, let me say something uh, so here the horizontal axis correspond to time and the vertical axis correspond to amplitude so next move to creating the spectrum uh, so let name that spectrum as bird spectrum bird spectrum equal to think uh, sorry bird dot make spectrum so this is created so let's plot the bird spectrum bird spectrum dot float and bird spectrum dot sorry think plot dot show 
so here you can see uh, the horizontal axis is the frequency in hertz and the vertical axis is the amplitude so here uh, these lines represented this particular frequency frequency 0 is having amplitude more than 400 and frequency nearly 3000 is having amplitude nearly 900 or some more than 900 so we can uh, make some analysis using this and in my uh, next video i'll be showing you how to use some filters uh, to pass particular frequency through the, those filters like some low frequencies some high frequencies or frequencies within some range so that filters will be helpful uh, if we want to remove some uh, noise from the audio file or if we want to uh, uh, make some uh, changes in the audio file so hope this video is useful to you so don't forget to make a like and subscribe thank you